Oh, goodness. I have literal side pains right now. I should probably get that checked out. But I'm going to put it up to the fact that I am watching season six of Bobby today. Oh my god. I am like, I need to settle down because my heart rate is literally so fast right now. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, can you guys believe I'm on season six of Buffy? Season six? I just died! Oh my god, so what's gonna happen? Ah! <laughs> oh my god, okay, I need to do my intro. Hello, Flaming B. Hi, how you doing? And today we're watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer season six, episode one and two. Oh my god, I am at a loss for words for the fact that I just said that! <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So, I did not know that the season premiere for season six was a two hour long special until literally two days ago. So I'm super pumped to get two hours of Buffy. I've been told that there's no clear like cut. So I'm curious how like is, are the names for it literally like part one, part two? Um, I, mean, I don't know. I'm just very curious to see like how this episode, like is it two plots or is it just one long plot throughout the entire thing. I'm just, uh, either way, I'm like super, super pumped to see how they wanted to start this season. And I mean, obviously for two hours, I mean, come on, two hours special for a season, fin uh, season premiere. I'm intrigued. What did they have planned? I was also very curious because I'm like, because obviously Buffy's dead. So like whatever's going to happen, for her to come back or for her not to come back in like the beginning of the season, I'm, I was pretty sure like it's gonna take a bit. Like what's, what are all the events that are happening? Of course, there's also other things happening with all the characters. Like Xander and Anya are supposed to be like, you know, they're engaged. So what if they're just having their wedding for half of this episode? <laughs> Could you imagine? But um, yeah, there's just like a lot of stuff happening. <sighs> And of course, a lot of grieving because their best friend just died. I, oh my God, I'm literally having side pains because <laughs> I'm like on edge. But yeah, I'm, I'm like I've already said many, many times, I have like a gut feeling that Bobby's going to turn into a vampire. How that happened, I don't really know because they already showed her buried at the end of last season. So... I'm not sure. And I'm also curious if Angel makes a, you know, a little wink wink cameo in this episode because actually, did they say that he ever went to Sunnydale? But either way, I'm curious if Angel will be in the episode at all because um, in the first episode of Angel, spoilers for that if you have not seen it, but it, I mean, come on. Um, but for the first episode of that season, he was like in a monk thing or something, fighting demon monks. Um, you know, to his heart's content to try and, you know, work through his grief. So he already knows about it. And like, I, I don't know if he went to Sunnydale, which is why, why I'm curious if he's going to be in it. But yeah, either way, I'm just like, oh God, it's literally been like a month or so since I've seen the finale. So like Buffy's death has like cemented in my brain, you know, like it's not like me being in denial or anything. Like, I know. <laughs> She died. So, what the fuck's gonna happen next? I was making a joke. Like, watch season five literally just continue being the season of gaslighting. And I go to watch this episode and it's just black screen the entire time. Because all of the Buffy fandom gaslit me into thinking that there's two more seasons. <laughs> Either way, I'm just super pumped to get into it. I had, like, a whole thing planned. I was gonna try and work predictions. But I just want to watch this episode Oh, goodness. If you want to hear, like, more of my predictions and stuff, go watch my season five wrap-up. I'm pretty sure I talked about, like, my predictions and stuff for season six, but my main thing is Buffy gonna turn into a vampire. <laughs> and is there going to be another vampire slayer that's going to be in Sunnydale? I feel like there might be one, but I don't know if she's going to come to Sunnydale, you know? Because I feel like we've been there, done that, but... It is a definite possibility. Goodness, there's going to be three vampire slayers on Earth. Buffy really fucked it up for everyone. <laughs> there used to be just one, they die, another one comes, but she's died twice now. <laughs> I'm I'm having literal pains. So I'm good. <laughs> Watch me have a heart attack like halfway through this. Oh my god. Anyways, without further ado, 
let's just get into it. Also, I was just thinking, is this season going to jump on the bandwagon that Angel was on last season and it's going to be 69? I will literally throw a fit if it's 69. Like Buffy season six, it just better be four three. That's all I gotta say. That's my comfort dimension, okay? <laughs> please, please, please don't don't do that to me. But I feel like it's four three. I don't know. Y'all better have warned me if it's sixty nine and I didn't get a warning. Okay. Okay, four three. Okay. I spike. <laughs> Was that Tara? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Big ones are supposed to tire more easily. No, that's I'm over the I'm gonna cry. I'm fine. Hi, Tara. I just need to... Make him go left. Well... Oh. <laughs> are those leather pants? <laughs> Big, fast, and dumb. Just the way I like them. Are you there? <laughs> Sounds like the units are engaged. Xander, on your They're all there! <laughs> Great Google Moogly. That'll put Marzipan in your pie plate, bingo. <laughs> What's with the daughter is, I've read? I don't know. I was trying to program in some new puns and I kind of ended up with work. Is now. that the Buffy bot? I think it's funny. It's a we need the, the world and the underworld to. Believe that Buffy is alive and well. And I will be Oh, I've been bamboozled! Head back on, didn't I? And I got her off those knock knock jokes. Oh, who's there? And she's gone. If you want her to be exactly, she'll never be exactly. I know the only really real Buffy is really Buffy, and she's gone who? <laughs> oh my god. Please, please. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god, I love new title sequences! <laughs> I can't want that! But... Where's my clog? He's a special guest star now? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> is he leaving or something? Where is he? Donnie? Oh my god. They just have the Buffy bot just around. Okay. Also, sorry I glossed over it. Is Willow oh, it, and Tara it, it, living there? It's just with Dawn. I can't take the chance that Mr. Summers might talk to you and know something's wrong. You're my sister. God, I'm sure this isn't helping the grieving process. So, that's like, <laughs> oh god. Buffy bot is about to face her most dangerous challenge ever. Okay. I don't eat, but Don takes one every day. Tell me about it. My kid's been brown bagging it, even though I paid for the lunch program. Yeah. It's true. Something has to be done about the quality of Not the her food. starting a parent uprising right then and there. <laughs> oh my god. You know, I used to punish people like this when I was a demon. I made them double check spreadsheets for all eternity. <laughs> I'm sorry if you've been to oh my, my parents, god. but I was. Now, what you think you can just take anything you want? Oh my god. Give it. No, you give it. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Ow! Oh, Giles! Giles is gonna leave the store to you when he goes. What more do you want? I'm not leaving. Excuse the store me? To I'm going to England. I'm not dead. I'm still a partner. Oh, this is fucked. I'm overseas partner. Come on, Giles, don't leave! Not this again! That's how schools are, you know. There's factories spewing out mindless little automatons. Who go on to be very valuable and productive <laughs> members of society. Should go. Definitely don't drop out. <laughs> I'm not leaving you to get hurt. Not again. Enough! Ah! God. This episode is just gonna be everyone sad for an hour and a half. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god, is it gonna show that she's 
you're a machine. Thank you. <laughs> Besides, I ended up getting it on eBay. You found the last known urn of Osiris on eBay? Yeah, <laughs> from this desert gnome in Cairo. But I finally got him to throw in a limited edition Backstreet Boys lunchbox for a... <laughs> a friend. <laughs> you got your Sander on, Willow. Xander! <laughs> this is deep stuff, Willow. We're talking about raising the dead. It's time we stop talking. Tomorrow Shh. night. We're bringing Buffy back. Oh my god, she's seriously doing this? Oh my god. Who made you the boss of the group? You did. You said Willow should be boss. And then you said, let's vote, and it was unanimous. And you made it this little plaque that said, boss of us, and you put little sparkles on it. And... So that's point. why she gets the oh. As Willow title oh, yeah. in the title sequence. I mean... Buffy didn't die a natural death. She was killed by mystical energy. Oh. Which means we do have a shot. It means more than that. So a loophole? <laughs> that you can actually do it? I know where she really is. She could be trapped in, in some sort of hell dimension like Angel was. Oh my god. Suffering eternal torment just because she saved us and I'm not gonna let her... I'm not gonna leave her there. What time do we meet? God, I just got well, chills. Good idea to stay put. Spike was right. Uh, 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 Sorry I questioned you, Spike. You know I admire your brain almost as much as your washboard abs. They kept that part in the Buffy bot? <laughs> I told you doing that. I did. Fix it. Stop it. Sure. I mean, I have a lot of work here, but I'll see what I can do. Stop it. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Try it again. Only this time, remember your breathing. <laughs> no, no, that's good, but uh, <laughs> think of the breath as chi. Side note, a, Anya's a hair. I don't Iconic. <laughs> She's not the descendant of a long line of mystical warriors. She's the descendant of a toaster oven. Yes, well, I appreciate your okay. input, <laughs> but I think Buffy Bot has responded Buffy nicely Bot. to our session. <sighs> Hearing it come out of Giles' mouth, I... <laughs> I just can't help but wonder if she would have been better off without me. Buffy. I don't Giles? think that's true. I did what any good watcher would do. Got my slayer killed in the line of duty. Oh, that wasn't your fault. No, of course not. That's how all Slayer watch your relationships end, isn't it? I... <laughs> Giles. <laughs> oh my god. So I got her cornered in this alley, see? You've got the Slayer cornered. Yeah, I figured it's my duty. She's a menace to our society. <laughs> so we... <laughs> and I'm like... <laughs> You're telling me there's no Slayer in Sunnydale? Oh, fuck. And I got the whole sunlight issue. But I was thinking, you know, it's thanks for the 411. You could let me throw in. Oh. Well, Not the vampire dust again. <laughs> what a lovely thing to have Buffy come back to. <laughs> Is it Bambi? <laughs> I'm gonna cry. That's. <laughs> Aw. <gasps> Willow! Not Bambi! Accept our humble gratitude for your offering. And white? Bold, bold decision. Death. It's better if we stay together. Aw, you got butterflies, baby. More like bats. <laughs> you you want to look at the money? I, I find it always calms me. Oh my god. That's okay, thanks. I've gone. <gasps> Not one for long goodbyes. I thought it best to slip out quietly. Love to you all, Giles. Giles? What the fuck? This is fucking rude. Get your ass back! <laughs> you really think we'd let you get away with that? <laughs> Goodness. I was trying to avoid a scene, really. 
Like we'd make a scene. <laughs> and a monster, sort of a Sunnydale souvenir, we thought. Grr, arr. Stop it. <laughs> Tara did that perfectly. <laughs> Be careful, he says. Cut to them trying to bring someone back from the dead. Oh, Giles, this is why you don't leave them unsupervised. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Does have their candles? Oh. Trying, my lighter won't stay lit. Know our prayer. <gasps> oh my god! Uh, oh my god! Hey, in Sunnydale. <laughs> oh my god, why? <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> why? No! Slayer. I've been here interesting. She's so tiny. <laughs> Fuck it up, puppy bot. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow. Willow, you good? Besides, I'm scared. Release her. Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> Is that Buffy? Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Goodness, that would be terrifying. The inner cirrhosis. Sorry? Yeah. <laughs> Buffy's gone. Oh. She's really gone. Oh my god, cut to her literally fighting for her life over there. I can't loot the magic shop. Not now. I just got it. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, poor Anya and her business. <laughs> a lot of damage, do you? Yeah, no. <laughs> Holy water, one cross. <laughs> Brilliant. Don, I get that you're scared, but I'm your sitter, so mind me. <laughs> your sitter. No. <gasps> Oh my god. Quite a sunny deal to come back to, Buffy. <laughs> Sheesh, okay, camera. Gosh, I love that little detail. Like, obviously, she's back from the dead, so she can't fully see everything. Oh my god. <laughs> What? Uh, oh, nothing. Just, uh, <laughs> looks like fun. Not him. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's fly, pigeon! Oh, my God. 
Maybe they'll party themselves out. You know, tie this place and move on. Say hello to your new home, boys. Oh, nice. And I ain't no hurry to leave it to you. She gonna see herself. Gentlemen, start your engine. Oh my god, are we gonna pull the Buffy bot apart? Next time this thing's damaged, couldn't you program it to find the nearest radio shack? Or... Buffy? Buffy! 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 We brought you back to life, Buffy. Right where we left her. Oh, God. In her coffin. Why did you guys think that that wouldn't happen? Buffy! You aren't reaching her. She's too traumatized. Goodness. Yeah, rightfully so. Here's some good news that might perk you right up. Please. <laughs> not right now. Anya. <laughs> You're home. Yeah. Welcome home, Slayer. Oh, my fucking God. Alive and kick it after all. So you got a witch in the mix. More than one. I happen to be a very powerful man witch myself. <laughs> I was really hoping it'd be you. <laughs> I was gonna say maybe she came back with like without her slayer powers, but Carla is literally like, back and kicking. Oh my god. Spike gonna see it. There. What's that? Poor puffy bot. <laughs> Dawn. You're my sister, Dawn. The other Buffy. Yes. The other Buffy. Buffy? Dawn? Dawn! Hey, but you do this, Dawn! The important thing is that she's back. She'll be fine. <laughs> oh! Ah, uh, okay. Oh my god. Manage while I choke the life out of you. Oh my god. Let's go. Nobody messes with my girl. Sarah, nice accent. Oh, my first. Is it you? I mean, really? What do you. My goodness gracious, Buffy. Say something. Oh my god. Is this hell? Is this hell? Sorry. 
I need you to live. Live. For... Oh my god. Buffy! Done. Buffy! My goodness. <laughs> Let's fucking go. That was a lot. That was a lot, a lot, a lot. Oh my god. Okay, so this was Bargaining Part 1 and 2. Has an 8.1 and an 8.2 rating. Funny how they have different <laughs> ratings. But the first part was written by Marty Noxon. Marty, fuck it up. Fuck it up. Oh my god, you got the executive producer credit and you're writing the season premiere. Fuck it up. And then the second part was written by David Fury. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, and then, oh, that's how it was last season too. Interesting. And both parts were directed by David Grossman. Fuck it up, David. Oh my gosh. Whew. So... Um, I'm still having side pains. <laughs> I cannot believe this happens. I am honestly at a loss for words for how Buffy came back and she's not a vampire. I don't know why I was so adamant on that, but damn, she is not. Dang. I thought that was going to be a very cool, you know, season, but... Looks like they got a different idea. Oh my god. Buffy coming back and just asking if this was hell? Oh my god. She must have been in some nice heaven or something. And then they pulled her from that to bring her back to Sunnydale that was literally being overcome by demons. Poor Buffy. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm very curious how this is going to all work. And if Buffy's gonna like kind of resent the Scoobies for bringing her back. I mean, imagine, like, sacrificing yourself, working for so many years as a Slayer, night and day, sacrificing yourself, dying, and then finally being, like, at peace. And then your friends can't live without you, and they bring you back. And you're sucked back into Sunnydale, where literal demons are looting and killing people all over town and you're the person that has to save them god that sucks and just coming back to life in a coffin being buried like no thank you that why did they think that they why did they think that she would come back elsewhere her body is in the coffin why did they, that was Unless it says somewhere, like, in the spells or something, that they'll come back where they- I don't know, where they used to live or something. Yeah, sure. Understandable. But her body is in the coffin. Willow, you're smarter than this. Why did you think she was not gonna go- That was- that was a little funny, honestly. I'm like, how did you guys overlook the fact that she would be buried alive and she'd have to dig herself out of her grave a lot- <laughs> You guys are smarter than this. What the fuck? But, oh my god. So, the first scene, I fucking loved all of the gang and everyone fighting vampires together with Buffy. But psych, it's the Buffy bot. I was not expecting that at all. So when she came up, I was like, oh, 
okay, so we're gonna have this, and then they're gonna probably be, like, two weeks earlier or some shit. And then we're gonna get, like, you know, how she came back. Nope, that's the Buffy bot. I- it makes sense, honestly, that they would do that. I cannot believe the Buffy bot is this intertwined with the Buffy verse and, like, the plots actually happening. What the fuck? Oh my god, they helped us defeat Glory. And then they're basically, like, Buffy's stand-in for when Buffy died. That is an insane arc for Buffy Bot. And then she died because she got... Poor Buffy Bot. Buffy Bot deserves better, okay? <laughs> so yeah, so I got a couple little things here. Let me re-watch the intro title sequence. I do love how they have a Tara scene in there. Obviously she's not season regular, but I love how she's in it. I, I don't know why the and Allison Hannigan as Willow is so fucking cool, but I don't know. I'm just like intrigued why they changed that. Did she start another show? Wait one sec. Let me see. No, I was gonna say, did she start How I Met Your Mother during this? And like, that's, she's also popular on that. And then, you know, very interesting. I don't understand why they chose to do it. Uh, I don't know. Maybe she's being paid more or something. And that's why, I don't know. But either way, Giles is no longer in the title sequence. <laughs> that makes me so sad. I'm literally so upset. Oh, I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Giles hasn't really been in the show, you know. He's only in there, like, for a little bit. Um, but, like, I feel like he's been under, you know, used on the show. So it's, like, understandable, but come the fuck on. Oh, Giles, don't take him away from me. Come on. <laughs> and the last little zoom in on her. <laughs> Stop it. Because I've had that one from season three for a bit. So, I don't know. I just love getting new stuff, as y'all already know. <laughs> I literally lost my shit watching the Angel one because they have so much new stuff in it. But, okay, so I really, I just really like the layout of this episode. And, like, the idea to make it an hour and a half long so you don't, like, rush through the whole, like, what is life without Buffy like? And what it, like, how have they change the way that they lived. They have Willow and Tara living at the uh, Summers household so that Dawn, you know, has someone to help out. And then they have the Buffy bot, act, um, obviously. And then Anya is basically in charge of the magic box, Giles leaving. And uh, I don't know, it just was very like, felt organic the way that everything happened and like how it was all revealed. And, like, even just, like, Willow and Tara living with Dawn is just so fucking cute. Like, I'm like, of course they would. Like, that's, I just adore them so much. Um, but yeah, and then, obviously, Xander and Anya um, helping out as well. I just love all of them so much. And I don't know, I just really liked the layout of everything as well. Like the fact that they've been thinking about um, bringing Buffy back for a while and like now is finally the time and they finally have all the ingredients and everything. And uh, yeah. Also, I never, I didn't even think about this, but like the fact that Buffy died, Sunnydale now doesn't have a Slayer. So like, obviously they would want to keep the idea of Buffy around so that demons and vampires don't act out. So the Buffy bot thing just made so much sense. At first I was like, okay, what the fuck? <laughs> um, I was like, at first I was like, is this just a reasoning so that we can have like a little fake out and I think that she's alive and she's not, it's actually the Buffy bot. But like throughout, I'm like, okay, this actually makes a lot of sense for why they would choose to have the Buffy bot. And especially, like, the whole, like, Slayer not being in Sunnydale, you know, kind of makes sense. The fact that Demons and Vampires would take advantage of all of that uh, if the Slayer wasn't there. So around, like, the 40-minute mark, pretty much halfway through, we get the whole spell thing and everything. And 
goodness. The fact that Willow had to go through, like, the trials and stuff, or, like, whatever, like, making sure that, like, she, like, I don't even, that, that was insane. Like, the cuts and the snake coming out of her, what the fuck? But, again, it, like, makes sense for, like, a god or whatever that she was, like, calling upon to be, like, you know, we're gonna put you up to the test to make sure that you, like, really want this person to come back. I don't know, just doing this. <laughs> I've already told you guys for the past, like, season or so, I'm very nervous about Willow <laughs> and her magic powers. It's making me very nervous, and I'm scared that something's going to happen. <laughs> um... I don't know, just the whole using magic and then bringing someone back. That's, like, an insane amount of power. I'm nervous that something's going to happen and, like, I don't know. Some, a god's gonna, like, possess her or something. Like, I'm just nervous. Very nervous about this. But, yeah, so then, obviously, it works. She comes back. She has to literally dig herself out of the coffin again. How did they... Why did they not think that she'd come back in the coffin? But, um, God, that had, that would be traumatizing. God. Goodness. I cannot even imagine that is, like, my worst fear. Goodness. Claustrophobia and... No, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> There's a movie with Ryan Reynolds where the entire movie takes place in a coffin with this dude being buried alive and he get calls like 911 or whatever that movie gave me nightmares <laughs> but um so i'm curious where the cut is for like where episode two starts you know curious let me see um on hulu okay that's what i thought it, it's right after she comes back to life. Okay. That makes sense. Um, God, that transformation was fucking weird. And it, like, makes sense why they would do that. Because obviously she was dead for a couple months. Oh, goodness. I, I just hate to see Buffy like that. I hate to see Buffy like that. <laughs> but yeah, so, um, I will say, I feel like, I don't know. I just was a little sad to see the fact that like the demons running amok and all that was it just took up so much time of the episode that i like obviously you know buffy just came back to life but i don't know while watching i was like a little like okay this is a lot of fighting this is a lot of demons doing nonsense but looking back on it it does make sense for the story for like what they wanted to show with again like i said buffy was she sacrificed herself did all the stuff died finally at peace finally in heaven or wherever and at peace and then she's put back in the coffin she has to climb herself out of it and then she comes to sunnydale where there's literally demons running amok like a hell like oh my god that her asking is this hell broke my heart i'm like fuck like this poor girl did not deserve to come back to all of this oh my god i just feel so bad <laughs> i feel so bad for poor buffy oh my gosh but yeah i also wanted to mention i love love the choice to have like her vision and her hearing not fully back as soon as she comes back to life like when you think about, like sh that makes sense like if you come back to life you've been dead for a couple months and you know you're decomposing your eyes and your ears probably not going to be as useful but i don't know it was just so interesting to see the world through buffy's eyes when she first came back and it also is just so disorienting. Like, imagine being at peace in a heaven or someplace in the afterlife and then being brought back into Earth. And it, that's just so disorienting. And it just, there was no, like, like, how else can you show 
that being so disorienting other than showing it through Buffy's eyes. And I think they just did it so perfectly. Like, ah, the sound design too, with like the muffling and like the, um, like the echoing kind of like voices when she was listening to people. Perfect. So good. So well done. And, um, yeah, I also wanted to mention, I love Willow and Tara being their bad witch selves. I, their, the amount of, like, witch stuff that they did this episode is so fucking cool. And I hope that's, like, a common thing. Like, I mean, imagine being a witch and, like, having all these spells and shit that you can do. I mean, I just hope we get to see a little bit more of that throughout the show, because, or, like, like, casually, or, like, like, they were, when they were fighting, Tara did something to, like, you know, help them, or, like, push the demon off the bike or to help Anya get away. Like, I don't know. I just really liked it, and the whole, <laughs> the Tinkerbell spell, where she, um, found Willow and then, like, led them. <laughs> I just adore them. <laughs> the whole, like, witch thing is just so freaking cute with them, but again, Makes me a little nervous with Willow. Makes me a little nervous. Especially this whole thing, which was very, very interesting. Because this was a topic last season when um, Joyce died. Obviously, um, Dawn was asking, like, okay, how do you, like, bring someone back? And then uh, Tara was basically like, there are ways, but it's not a good way to do it. Um, You know, there's a lot of, like, you know moral things and it's not you know like for nature and like you know how things are in the world it's not you know you can't go against nature with that but willow was like oh yeah here's how you do it here's how other people have done it i've tried to do it and it's like they're just very different witches for like how they view that sort of thing or like how they view morally gray type spells and obviously, I'm sure Tara just wanted to support her girlfriend and, like, you know, obviously all her friends wanted to bring back um, Buffy. So I'm sure she, you know, couldn't really go against it because she's like, okay, well, I feel bad, you know. But it also makes sense that because it wasn't a natural death and because it was, like, a mythical thing, there was a chance to bring her back because it wasn't natural. I think that was very cool. I was, like, so sure that, like, because we've seen, like, someone try to bring back Joyce and it, like, didn't work out. It was, like, horrible, you know, that they couldn't do it again. But, like, that makes so much more sense because it wasn't a natural death. <sighs> but, yeah. So then we got, like, a whole bunch of fighting and stuff. And then uh, Buffy goes to the tower from the last season finale. And... I, my heart breaks for her. Oh my god. I, I just feel so bad. <laughs> like, oh god. But yeah, again, I just, that scene on the tower was just so, like, perfect. Because I can't even imagine, like, the thoughts, like, probably racing through Buffy's head about the things that have happened, her memories from her death how she felt when she died and then to come back and just like it you still have those memories but like you don't have the consequences of those actions and like those feelings like goodness I just this is not what I was expecting at all and I just am so blown away by like how perfect it feels if that makes sense i don't know just it feels so like in character for the show <laughs> to have the main character coming back to life after she sacrificed herself in the last season finale to be so somber <laughs> and it just makes sense like i don't know you guys already know i you know I watched Supernatural, and this thing has happened uh, quite a few times. Uh, someone dying and them coming back to life. But um, they do have a scene similar to this where, like, the character has to, like, dig themselves out of the grave and, like, come back out. And 
I don't know. It's just, like, it felt so much more real for Buffy. Because, one, getting to see her point of view was so perfect. Oh, my God. I loved it. And, two, it she didn't, like, at the end of this episode, she's still, like, not fully accepting the fact that she's back. Or, I'm, I'm curious, like, how she's going to explain how she's feeling. But, I don't know, like, I just really, really like the way that the show did it. God, and even Dawn coming back up, I, I just, ah, I want to cry. <laughs> Goodness, and them falling off the tower, I was like, is Buffy gonna die again? I was literally thinking, I thought that Buffy was gonna die again. <laughs> Oh my god, imagine how fucked that would have been. Oh my god. My oh goodness, I don't even know what else to say. Oh my god, okay, I haven't even talked about Spike. Out of character for me. Um, goodness, Spike this episode. <laughs> he didn't even have, like, that many, like, scenes or, like, many moments that, like, I saw, but... Mm. We already know. We already know. Fucking bike. I can't. Oh. But that whole moment where, like, the Buffy bot was, like, still kind of programmed to, like, be in love with Spike. And his reaction. I can't. I can't. Put me out of my misery. Oh, my God. And then... Buffy's gonna be back. How is he going to react to that? I'm so nervous. I'm so scared for Spike to to learn that Buffy is back. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. But yeah, I am very happy. Or I'm very excited to see that scene and when he does see Buffy. Mm. Goodness gracious. This episode... Like I already said, it was not what I was expecting at all, honestly. Like, I... Again, I thought she was gonna be a vampire! But, um... <laughs> it just goes to show. I literally don't know fucking anything about these this show at all. But, yeah, I still think it'd be a cool idea. I, I don't know. I feel like they just... It'll happen at some point on this show. I don't know. I think it's also because... Not to mention Supernatural again. But, like, on Supernatural, like, um, I'm not going to say who, but, um, a character, uh, something similar happens to them. <laughs> and it was just very cool, because it was like, oh, look, you know, like, on this show, like, the Vampire Slayer becomes the vampire, you know? I think that'd be just a very cool concept, but, obviously, not something that they want to visit in this season at least um where is this gonna go now i don't know so like obviously we have to have some sort of a big baddie or like something to you know push the rest of the season um i don't know i feel like they might hold off on introducing that for a couple episodes and then have the first couple episodes be like buffy you know, reintegrating into society as a <laughs> living being, you know? But I'm not sure. I do think it's going to cause a lot of tension between Buffy and the gang. Because again, imagine being at peace and then being ripped from that <laughs> and put back onto Earth in Sunnydale and being forced to fight vampires again. Just, you know, obviously she wants to help everyone and obviously with Dawn, especially, I'm sure she still wants to keep her safe. But first instinct, you're probably like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> but I don't know. I'm just very curious how the relationships are also going to be. I'm just so excited. I'm so fucking pumped to see the rest of the season. Oh my god. But <sighs> yeah, anyways, the next episode that we'll be watching is the next episode of Buffy, episode three. Um, I don't, I think we go back to Angel after that, and 
then we come back to Buffy. Yeah, so it's Buffy episode three, Angel episode four, and then Buffy episode four. So we're going to be switching back and forth for a couple episodes for the next uh, bit of our viewing. And I'm super, super pumped. Oh my gosh. <sighs> and with Angel, Angel has been uh, grieving. He has, uh, obviously, since like the second episode or so, like we haven't really talked about it. But, I mean, he went to a whole, like, you know, fought demon monks and everything to, you know, fight through his grief. I'm curious when he'll find out that Buffy's alive. I'm just curious. And also, someone mentioned, because the shows are now on two different networks, I'm curious if we'll get any more, like, big crossover episodes, you know? Because, obviously, for, like, a network to, you know, um, advertise that your show will be having a crossover episode with a show on a different network to promote something for a different network to- for a different network to get money, not very- not a good, uh, business model. So, I'm curious if we will have, like, a huge crossover episode or anything- but I do feel like Angel at some point has to find out. I'm curious how that'll happen. I don't know. Because again, Buffy's like the love of, his, love of his life. So how do you just not tell him <laughs> that his love, the love of his life is no longer dead and is back alive in Sunnydale? <sighs> Anyways, I am so fucking pumped for the season. Oh my god, I'm so excited. And sheesh, Buffy is back. She's alive and kicking. And Jesus Christ, <laughs> I am nervous. I'm very nervous about the season. I'm very excited. So, either way, uh, like I already said, the next episode that I'll be watching is episode three of Buffy. And. Yeah, thank you until my beautiful patrons are on Patreon. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!